Hey, what's that noise? What is it? Hey, old Freddy, what's that noise? Oh, why is Monty here? Oh, he said he's sorry. Montgomery Gator. Was he an absolute savage trad on his Sigma grind set? Or perhaps it was something a lot darker. <laughs> All we know for a fact is that Glamrock Bonnie is no longer with us. May he rest in pieces? Or who went ahead and did that dirty deed? We have three suspects. Was it Montgomery Gator? Or perhaps it was a crazed rabbit girl called Vanny? Or maybe it was even... Your mother? But we're not here to solve the case of who did Bonnie in right now. Oh no, we're gonna be looking at something a little more emotional. Today we're gonna be finding out once and for all what Montgomery Gator truly thinks of Glamrock Bonnie. So make sure you bring the tissues. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to another exciting episode of Science with Paparaz. The series in which you give me your myths, theories and experiments to blow open the secrets of FNAF Security Breach. Hey yo, Glam Daddy! My boy, my baby! Oh, I've been brought to tears because I've missed my daddy. I'm sorry. I've been doing another thing. Your mother? No! You animal! And we're back! More myths, baby! Speaking of myths, let's get on to the first one. The first exciting myth of the day has been sent in by the fantastic Gecko Games. Before you get chased by Monty and end up in the security office, you can probably glitch into the fence. Will Monty be lurking behind there? There is the holy grail, the first real jump scare of this game. So we go along the corridor right there and Montgomery Gator pounds through there like he would do to your mum. And that is where Gecko Games wants us to go. So. Freddy, you come with me, buddy. Look at you, you big, beautiful, handsome man. We're gonna see if Montgomery Gator is hiding behind there, okay? Ah! Why would you do that? Whoa, not Freddy! Wow! <laughs> That's not what we meant to do at all! Let's hide here. You won't get us here, right? Okay. Hey, yo, Glam Daddy, was this machine always working? Because I'm pretty certain I've never seen this machine on. Then why is it working now? We must have stumbled upon a secret. Well, looks like we're about to play the state of survival. Your mother goes cuckoo for state of survival. Day of Survival is a mobile strategy survival game which is set in a post-apocalyptic world filled with zombies. Yes. And your main aim in this game is to survive. And as FNAF fans, we already know what happens when you go near the frontal lobe. Delicious. Not only does Day of Survival have exhilarating gameplay, fantastic characters, and epic storyline, but it's also the sponsor of today's video. Thank you very much, mommy and daddy. I'll do my best to survive. But I'll probably die. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. The name's Papa Raz, and welcome. Welcome to my crib. Help yourself to some ripe and plump tomatoes. They're juicy and moist. <laughs> Look at the size of this boy! Why he's got people hanging outside this? Oh my lord, there's people attached to his back. Oh my lord, he's a big chungus. Ruh -roh, some friends need saved. Get in my car, baby. Let's go back to the home. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing because he's a scary boy. This is my favorite part of the game. This is my absolute favorite part of the game. Let's go, team. Let's set up. Let's get rid of the infected. And let's save the day. We've got some big boys over here. But you know what? I'm going to bring in a cannon. Get him in the back like the savage that I am. It's all about tactics, baby. Let's put another big boy on the go. Oh, yo. Look at the size of it. You leave my dog alone. You leave my wife alone. Look at that. That big boy is going. Oh, did you see the tentacles he had? He just grabbed him. Oh, yo. What's he doing? The designs of these zombies. The designs of these zombies. When I'm not out there slaying as many zombies as I can just to improve my street cred around here, I like to fix things up. I like to fix the fence so that my villagers, my friends, my allies, my comrades can feel safe. And with so many incredible characters to choose from and collect, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and download State of Survival right now! Using the link in the description below. And hey, the company's so generous that if you get to level 6 in this game, you will be automatically entered into a giveaway for a free I. Pad. Oh yes, that's right, get to level 6, keep playing the game, and randomly within a month, you could have a message in your inbox saying you have won. So, what are you waiting for? Download the game today, right now! If I didn't download before, I would, I would download just for her. <laughs> Mommy! So we've managed to glitch through that gate again, we'll call Freddy. <laughs> ah! 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 You gotta stop. Freddy, you have got to stop. So, apparently Monty's through here somewhere. Was it Monty that did this? Maybe it was Monty that did this to this animatronic here. Now, it says Monty should be through here somewhere. So, he's not hiding over here. I was expecting him to hide in maybe this room here. Or maybe just over here. But he's not. So, Montgomery Gator is just not here at the moment. However, it showed him on the map, right? Oh! 
What? What? So he was back? How? How was he here? He was here all along. So Montgomery Gator was hiding back here the entire time. He was here just waiting for me. But where did he come from? Was he hiding in one of the boxes? Can he jump scare me? I don't think he can. <laughs> wow! That was fun! I'm having so much fun! The things that we have seen towards the end of this video are absolutely incredible. We hear Monty's words to Bonnie. He finally says something about what happened to his friend. We hear Glamrock Bonnie's final words as well. He speaks to Gregory. This video is absolutely incredible. you got to keep watching. you got to hit that like button because you don't want to miss it. Guys, if you're hyped for another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach Myths video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. And hey, if this video right here gets 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of the video going live, then tomorrow you'll get another Myths video. So go ahead and send me your myth theories and experiments to do with Vanny, to do with Glamrock Bonnie, and to do with what potential DLC we will be getting. And the massive giveaway for a free copy of FNAF Security Breach is still ongoing, so if you would like a chance to win one of the free copies, all you need to do to enter is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Now the comment could be anything. Go ahead and tell me who your favorite animatronic is. Go ahead and tell me when you joined the FNAF fandom. Give me a myth theory or experiment for a myth series, but hey, all you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like this video, and leave a comment down in the comment section below. Good luck! Actually, do you know what, Daddy? Let me send you Tum Tum. That's right, I've got oversized cake, so I'm allowed in here. What happens if we... I've never tried this. We go along here whilst we're in Freddy. Montgomery Gator's not gonna care, right? So he's gonna come towards us, but he can't do anything, right? Yeah, he's just gonna walk into us, give us a big old smooch. Can we get... Can't get in there yet. Have I ever been in here? Oh, there's a present back. Hey, hey, oh, Mon hey, oh, Montgomery. But, hey, oh, hey, oh, great gator danger. Gator danger. But, nice feet. But have you ever heard of personal space? Freddy, you're just trying to annoy me, aren't you? <laughs> I love this man. I love him. Anyway, let's go this way. Right, Montgomery Gator's gonna chase us. We're gonna have a great time. There's an area that I want to go to that I've not been to yet. It's just along here. When Chica bursts through the boxes, that's an area that I've never been in. Am I lost, Roxy? No, I've never been more found, baby. So she's gonna burst through the boxes right there. I've never actually been back here. So what is back here? They're both following me, but we're safe. Hey, what? Requires a level 12 pass? Why well, do I have a level 12? Actually, no, I left it in my other pants. Right, now we should be able to get back here. So what is in here? Hey, what? Hey, animatronic, can I get him to fall off? Can I get him to fall off? Please, Chica, I, I want Chica to fall. Can I push her off? Can I push her off? Hey, yo, can I somehow push her off? What is this secret area? Hey, yo, for real, though, I still can't believe we're finding secrets. We're finding lore. We're finding myths and experiments that we still haven't found four months into the game's release. Well done, everyone. Well done. Thank you very much for all your myths and experiments. It really means the world to us. I love... Love, love, love the community. It, it means the world to me. Thank you. So the next exciting myth of the day is by the fantastic Rebecca Smiley Face. What happens if you go at the beginning of the game to the daycare and immediately turn off the lights? Okay, so we're right back here again. Montgomery Gator has not broken through there yet. So let's go to the daycare. What row, Mr. Blue Man? Looks like I've been a naughty boy. Punish me. Actually, punish. Please, please punish the person that keeps putting pictures of Rocksteady everywhere! I mean, five nights at your nasty! Moon Man hasn't been summoned yet, he is nowhere to be seen, or should I say Sun Man, he hasn't, he's nowhere to be seen, and it's just us just hanging out here, and then he suddenly appears! He's like, no, I didn't even get off of your glitter glue! Call me a naughty boy, say it again! What? Absolutely love, best character in the game, no cap, best character in the game, no cap! What that mouth do, Freddy? But if you caught it a couple of seconds ago, it actually still says it's quarter to twelve! in the evening, technically about to go to a.m. And as you already know, it goes to 12 a.m. when we get locked in here, perf- <gasps> Why is the time going up? What happens when it gets to 12 a.m.? Oh, I think I'm trouble. I think I'm in trouble when that goes up to 12 a.m. I'm not going out there without a flashlight. It's too dark. Yeah, I know it's dark, but surely your eyes can see that you've got one in your hand! Look, you've got one in your hand! Gregory! Is the moon even here? The moon's not even here, Fred. Freddy, Freddy, it, 
I feel like the moon is out. I feel like I've unleashed the moon. I've got like the particle effects. Freddy, I've got the particle effects. Freddy, I've got the particle. But I, d I don't see him. Who gave me this myth? Which one of you filthy animals give me this myth? Because I think I'm in big trouble. Yup, the clock's ticking. I reckon if it gets to 12 a.m. and I'm still in here, I'm going bye-bye, Freddy. I've really broken the order of this game. Oof! I thought that was actually Freddy. Technically, it is Freddy. I got jump scared by a cartoon cutout. Please tell me there's one, like, right around here. Please tell me there's one, like, right here. Yes! Yes! I turned the light on! Oh, I've really messed things up. I've really messed things up. Freddy, what do I do? Is it still ticking over? Freddy, over here. Freddy, what happened? Freddy, I've still got the particle. Yes, the time's still going, Freddy! We're in trouble, man. We're in trouble. We've really messed up. Let's press it. Press this button. Let's get out. I have really messed up the order of this game. I don't know what's happening anymore. Is it going to spawn the animatronics in here now? Because technically we haven't seen them yet. Oh, yes, it does. Jump in. Freddy, we're in big trouble. Freddy, we are in big, big trouble. I don't know what we should be doing here. It's still saying minus 155. What does that even mean? Okay, let's go back in the daycare real quick. Okay, since we're in here, it's still ticking. I oh, technically, if we just wait here till 6 a.m., something interesting might happen. But I think we'll probably save that for another video because we're going to be here forever in that case. However, oh yeah, see, it's still ticking down 1202. Let's try going in here. Let's see what happens. Absolutely nothing. So we haven't even su summoned the moon man at all. <laughs> it's this fella! <laughs> okay, I've, I've just been security alert. Who? Who's shouting at me? Nobody's even here. I've completely broken the sequence of this game. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what happens if right at the start of the game, you go all the way and turn off the lights in the daycare without doing anything else. They just get pretty angry at you, which, to be honest, is understandable. Your mother? Monty can't get through there, right? Nope. <laughs> Loser! Now, this is a very exciting myth, because if this works, it's going to blow open the whole of FNAF security breach and the way we've been thinking about it so far. Anyway, so this myth has been sent in by the fantastic FNAF Planetarium. If you get to Bonnie Ball fast enough, in the beginning of the game, Glamrock Bonnie will be destroyed with spray paint on him saying, I can't fix you. It looks more like human handwriting, which leads me to believe that Vanessa got the crowbar and did something to Bonnie. We are back here to play the Monty mini game that's here because if you don't already know, we actually get a secret Bonnie. E Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm going to just dive inside this game because if you didn't already know, by completing loads of tasks, which I've already done, if you want to see the video in which we've already completed all the tasks to get this ending, it's in the playlist somewhere. Trust me, you're going to want to see that video. Anyway, I want to get the Bonnie ending again because what we will do is once the game's registered that we've got this ending, we can then go back to the very start of the game and do what the commenter suggested for NAF Planetarium, and that was go to Bonnie Ball as soon as possible. So hopefully then we'll get some sort of new ending, but until said ending, we're just going to play a nice little bit of golf. Get myself a hole in one, you know. Get in there! Hey! What a move! What a gamer! What a guy! Now we just gotta wait for the ending! Let's go! Here we go, my boy Bonnie! He's walking away. He's like, I'm gonna have a good night. I'm gonna have a little bit of gaming time. Or so we thought. What Bonnie's actually doing? He's trying to free Vanessa's gr or, or, or Afton's grasp on Vanessa by going through the Princess Quest minigame. However, <laughs> when he decides to take in a little bit of golf, Vanny notices what Bonnie's been up to and instructs Monty to go ahead and disassemble my boy Bon Bon. Bonnie's like, hello, how we doing? Then Monty grabs and destroys Bonnie. That is what the ending actually is. And then Bonnie's like, why crying? And then Vanny takes my boy Bonnie away. Sit here for a while, then I'll take you to where you need to go. 
perfect. Now, now that we've learned what's happened to Glamrock Bonnie and where Bonnie's been stored, which is in Bonnie Bowl behind the curtain that we saw the show stage just before Freddy goes and cries because his best friend's gone, oh boo-hoo, Freddy, your life's so tough. So, as you can see here, we're right back at the beginning of the game again. Monty has not burst through there and we're still to go through there. However, oh, Glam Daddy. Why every time? Why are you there? Come over this side. Ugh. Why? Uh, I really, I'm really beginning to dislike him. I really am. Has he, he's burst through there and everything. <sighs> right then, daddy Oh, ready to come see your friend again? Just ignore the condition his body is in. <sighs> but Razzy, baby, why have you brought big daddy Freddy up to Bonnie Bowl? You know that I get sad and weepy when you bring me up here. I know, buddy, I know, but we gotta do this, okay? We gotta search behind the curtain. I do not come up here anymore. I miss him. I miss him too, buddy. <sighs> hey, what's that noise? What was it? Hey, yo, Freddy, what's that noise? Oh, why is Monty here? I swear I heard Monty say something. I swear I heard him say something different. Where is he? I know he's around here somewhere. I know he's around here some. Oh, he said he's sorry. No, my heart. So I can't find any way past this curtain. I thought maybe I could get in over here, but there doesn't seem to be any way past. Um, as for glitching in, I can't seem to do anything. As you know, there is one way I could try and glitch in there. Hold on. Right, so we just go through. Oh, too many Christmas. Nah, nah, I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fed up of going through these games, going into secret areas, places I'm not supposed to go, and getting jump scared. It doesn't make any sense. Was Vanessa back there protecting Glamrock Bonnie, or was she just there waiting for me? Huh? Was she waiting for me because I was getting all sad and emotional about Bonnie? Uh, uh, uh. Where am I? Yeah, where are you, bud? What is this place? Underground somewhere. There's nothing here. Oh, there is something. Toast! Bonnie's beautiful, big old toast. Look at them. Look how moist they look. Moist with his engine oil. Oh, what has he found? It's... It's Bonnie. Bonnie underground. And he's sad. He's broken. He's been ripped apart. He is no more. Dear... Sweet Bonnie, is Bonnie even alive? Why are you smiling? Why is this nutcase smiling? Why is this psychopath smiling? What's wrong with you? We finally found Glamrock Bonnie's body. We finally found his body in the location and you smile. What's wrong with you? Shed a tear, you robot. Look at him. He's just there, broken and in pieces. My boy, my beautiful Glamrock body. Huh. Oh, he's still alive, kind of. Are you good, bud? Well, hey there, kiddo. Hey! I didn't expect to see anyone down here. <laughs> it's been quite a while since I've gotten any kind of visitors. Who are you? It's Texan Bonnie! Who, me? Oh, well, I'm Bonnie the Bunny. I used to be a part of the band up there. Bonnie. Yeah. Oh. Well, yeah, what's your name, What Gail? happened to you? Tell us, tell us what happened! I, uh, I'm Gregory. Gregory, huh? Well, that's a nice name. Actually, that's got me curious. Right? How are the others? Oh. Are you alright? I don't know. I hope Freddy's okay. Yeah, uh, about the others, um, let's just say Monty's half the man he used to be, and Chica's a little quieter than she usually is, and Roxanne, well, her life flashed before her eyes. <laughs> Me and Freddy used to be like two peas in the pods, we were. I've been in sleep mode for a while now. Mm. Trying to conserve as much battery power Let's as save can. him. Let's save you, buddy. I Let's take hoping that one of the engineers will find me down here. Gregory's but good at stuff. That don't seem to be the case. No, but we can go if get help. If Fazbear Entertainment wanted to cover their tracks from the incident, it wouldn't be the first time. Ooh. I used to have a friend named Foxy that used to work in Kid's Cove. Yeah, what happened to him? Oh, he was a great friend. Yeah, what happened? But, uh, one day one of the youngins got a bit too close to Foxy while he was moving about with oh, his hook and, oh, uh... Oh, 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 no. Well... Oh, what? Let's just say what? it wasn't pretty. Oh, dear. Well, I wish I could help you, Gregory, but... Yeah? Unfortunately, oh. I can't exactly move anymore. Oh. See, uh, it's on in my head that's working. And unfortunately, I just don't have that much power left. No. See, without a recharge station, buddy. In my current condition, I'd say I have just a few minutes left before I 
Sure not for good. Minutes, minutes, my boy. Just now, just go, just go into power saving mode. I'll go, I'll go, I'll run, I'll run far away. Gregory, get up, get off your cheeks. Go find someone. Bring a battery pack. Just get some jump leads. Attach them to Freddy's nip nips and just shock Bonnie. Just bring him back to life. Come on. Come on. Don't you sit there, Gregory. Oh, shucks. Don't worry about me. Don't. So, Bonnie. If you wouldn't Bonnie. mind, Gregory, would you tell Freddy something for me? Yeah? Just tell him that he's the best friend anybody could have. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And I miss him something fierce. Oh. Of course I will. Thanks, kiddo. That means a lot. No. Well... You better get going. No, no. I don't no. want you to get in trouble for being down here. Oh. Happy trails. Just crushes Gregory's. He just. Oh no. No. I do not come up here anymore. I miss him. I can't, I can't take this. Gregory's just walking away like nothing happened. My guy! You better pass on them last words. <laughs> That wasn't. <laughs> Who's laughing? <laughs> oh! After you get out of there, you get out of his body. Gregory. Oh! Oh! Jiminy Christ! Jiminy Christmas, I went from crying to wetting myself. There's so many fluids going on. So many fluids! Feneros, you absolute genius! What a video, what a video, what a talent. Everything in there was absolutely amazing. The animation was amazing, the acting was amazing. Oh, Bonnie! Bonnie's voice acting was absolutely incredible. Down in the description below, please go and check them out because they're absolutely fantastic and so talented and I'm sure on their channel they've got amazing things for you guys to go and check out, so please go and do it. Well, there we go, ladies and gentlemen, that was another Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach video and finally we focused on Bonnie and Monty and the relationship between them and we got to see Bonnie's final words. It was amazing, it was a beautiful, what a fantastic video. If you did enjoy today's video, then please go ahead and smash that like button. 1,000 beautiful likes in the first hour of this video going live and tomorrow you'll get another myths video and a massive giveaway for a free copy of FNAF security breach is still ongoing so if you would like a chance to enter at one of the free copies all you need to do is subscribe to the channel like this video and leave a comment down in the comment section below now that comment could be absolutely anything tell me who your favorite animatronic is tell me when you joined the FNAF fandom or hey leave us a myth theory or experiment for our myth series but really any comment will go and a massive Massive thank you to everybody over at State of Survival for sponsoring today's video. If you do want to try to check that out for yourself, down in the description below there's going to be a link. Click on that bad boy and download it. I mean, it's free, so you may as well go and do it. And you might win an iPad if you stick it out. Either way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to get out of here. Run over my face just now. There's going to be another couple of videos I know you'll enjoy. Click on one of them bad boys and I'll see you over there. I've been Raspowski. You've been the beautiful Raspberries as always for watching. And I love each and every single one of you. Goodbye.